Hi there, students. To propitiate. Propitiate, a verb. Propitiation. So, to propitiate. Let's see, why did primitive tribes in the past make sacrifices? Well, they made sacrifices to propitiate their gods to gain the goodwill, to gain the favour of their gods, to appease the anger of the gods. So, to propitiate is to try to please, try to make calm a god or a person who is annoyed with you. So, he tried to propitiate his angry girlfriend with an enormous bunch of flowers. Um, the um okay the got the people sacrificed a sheep to propitiate the god who was angry um yeah they they sacrificed pigs to propitiate the gods who were angry so it's to avert the anger to avert the malevolence of a superior being so, I guess teacher's pet um, propitiates the teacher by giving him an apple every day. Or maybe you could um, propitiate the boss uh, by laughing at his jokes and always be there to help, to try to help him. Um, he propitiated he propitiated his parents by working hard at school uh, even though his behavior wasn't very good so he's got this idea of to placate to pacify to um, make make somebody happy again um, but particularly making sacrifices to propitiate the gods to make to make them uh, happy um, to make them less uh, l less angry with you so that they look on you um, favorably and this is the idea of propitiation um, yeah that, that you make offerings to the spirits to propitiate them um, maybe if a country wants to get closer obtain closer relations with another country then they would maybe do business deals to propitiate the regime uh, we need to find uh, a way to propitiate um, the conflict or propitiate Iran because of the conflict that, that we ha we are we have with them okay so to propitiate to to make somebody particularly somebody more powerful less angry yeah you if you propitiate someone you stop them being angry you stop them from being um impatient by doing something to please them so um the uh, waiter gave everybody a free glass of champagne to propitiate the, the um the angry customers okay the customers were angry so he gave them a free a glass of free champagne to propitiate them to appease them to reconcile them to placate them yeah to make them better disposed yeah to make them favorably inclined to win the goodwill of somebody um okay so yes you you want to propitiate uh, people who are important um, yeah let's see at Christmas companies set, send all of their good clients um, nice presents to propitiate them so that they will continue to do business and they will uh, be happy with, with, with them the next year okay so this is the idea of propitiate I think teachers pet is doing everything they can to propitiate uh, a teacher when uh, uh, in, in class so um, to conciliate to appeal to make peace yeah to win the favor of of a god or a spirit or somebody who's more much more powerful than you 
um, I offered the silverback gorilla uh, some fruit to propitiate him. Okay, propitiate, this is a pretty formal word. I'm going to give it seven in formality, maybe 7.5. Use in a semi-formal conversation, yes, I suppose, semi-formal or formal writing. And then as to origin, it comes from Latin, propitiare, um, to make favourable, yeah, um, to uh, make, make propitious, propitio. Uh, propitious, favourable, well disposed. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. That would propitiate me. Um, subscribe to my channel. That would also propitiate me. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.